families, Miss Patchett here. Just thought I'd share with you a favourite story from my home country, New Zealand, or Aotearoa if it's known of the land of the long white cloud. Here's my Kapai Kiwi, and here's one of my books called Kapai's New Mates, written by Uncle Anzac. Kapai is a Kiwi who only plays at night. Kiwis never learn to fly, so they stay out of sight. Because Kiwis are nocturnal. Kapai's from Aotearoa, land of the long white cloud home of the mighty All Blacks team with Haka brave and proud. One day as some birds flew by, Kapai stared and frowned. He felt so bored and lonely being stranded on the ground. And so he crept out of the bush and jumped into the valley. But of all the times he tried to fly, he simply lost the tally. So he fell on his tummy. He crossed the bridge at Tauranga and headed for the beach. As Kapai dodged between the cars, their brakes went screech, screech, screech. And you can see here, this is where Miss Patchett spends her holidays when she goes back to New Zealand to see her family. Kapai loved the special place, all sand and sun and light. Yeehaw! This is so awesome. No more hiding in the night. The same beach, which is Mao that I spend at Mount Monganui in New Zealand on my Christmas holidays. The little kiwi took a dip and dug for tasty pippies. They're a delicious selfish that we make pippy fritters from at Christmas time. He met all kinds of people, surfies, fishermen and hippies. See him on that surfboard having fun catching a wave. When Kapai set off looking for a place to have a sleep, he tripped and really flew across a bird piled in a heap which means lay flat on the ground <gasps> Kia ora, great big bird gasped Kapai as he fell is your wing pakaru? you don't look very well pakaru means broken in other words can you fly because your wings are broken you can call me Goony the albatross replied got hammered by a massive storm and very nearly died Oh dear, he's got the seaweed all wrapped around his head and I don't think he can move very well. Kapai sussed the tattered wing and felt for broken bones. Then up popped Tamatea, who had heard the big bird's groans. I think he might be in trouble. Kia ora bros, he said. Hey, you don't look the best. My body's near, so come for Kaimoana and have a rest. So a body is a house that you live in and Kaimoana Kai means food and Moana means sea, so it means seafood to come and enjoy some seafood. Tamatea with Kapai's help got Goonie in his back. Gently does it, off they set for home along the track. Oh, how good is Tamatea carrying the Goonie bird? Tamatea's Fano, his family, numbered round a dozen and anyone you didn't know, you simply called a cousin. At Tamatea's Whare, they all came rushing out. Hey, where'd you find these manu, Tama? What's this all about? They're having a family gathering. Now the birds were whānau, and soon the whole town heard how Tamatea and Kapai saved the battered goonie bird. A puku full of tasty kai had goonie looking bright. He said, let's tramp New Zealand while my wing is coming right. Kai is food, and you can see that they are eating seafood, which is kai moana with his whānau, his family. They headed off together through the fauna and the flora and when the new mates looked behind the whānau waved Kia ora! Thanks for joining us for a story. Have fun and keep learning and growing at home.